Tapos mahabula. <laughs> and uh, our teacher, impact our life with your words, O God. Nothing, O God, but the truth of your words that may, O God, we may walk worthy of your calling, O God. That even, if, even Lord, trials, hardships, and, and whatever, Lord, in Jesus' name, Amen. So, we don't like just pick up a Bible and then the Lord, you know, speak to us. He is Christ and Christ alone. Hallelujah. So today, or tonight, the title, you know, that we have is training a disciple to discern a godly man. Divine connection with the right people. How? It's up to you. <laughs> we will find out tonight. Are you excited? Yes. Yes, we are excited. But reading upon the witnesses, where are they? They are in the clouds. Right? Sharing the gospel, and now, what now? They might be afraid, right? Oh, come on, they will kill me. Who's this, you know? And, and when somebody from, from, you know, the authorities, they, they might ask that, you know, are you, oh, see? And now you are in the spirit of Peter. Ah, uh, no, I'm not. Right? <laughs> you will change, like, you know, uh, no, I'm not. I'm not their followers, right? You will deny. But when, you know, um, Paul checked their faith, they evaluate the gospel. That even though they are experiencing that persecution, they are seeking the Lord. Amen. Who is this people preaching Jesus Christ to them? Why? Because there are also other powers. There are also other faith that you, that, that that's been preaching to them the full 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 and you know false gospel. Mm -hmm. Not that genuine, but you know they compare, right? That these evil ways are just profiting them. They don't eat. They, it, it didn't even give them peace. The joy. Their life has been like, you know, in control of that, you know. The, 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 the very sense that you are going to buy and eat the food, they are taking it all. But when the preaching of Jesus Christ, all of us have been, you know, drowned from the burdens we have. From the worship we have, right? Amen. It's like God is speaking to me. God is giving me peace. God is stirring up my heart. What is this? I did not buy this. I did not pay for this. I am here even. I'm, I'm eating food from, you know, for free. Because that, that, that is the accusations. What are you doing? Just like that girl, you know. That is our business. We have a profit. And now you're, you're you know, you're interrupting. Come on. I will sue you. Right? I will drag you out. Are there situations in your life that you have been dragged out from your faith? Are there? How about the persecution of your family members, of your husband, of your wife, even your children, speaking, you know, demonize something because of the internet and so on. How about that? The rebellious children right now, sensitive, even in depression, killing themselves. How about, how about that? Come on. It's not easy, right? Amen. It's not easy. The surroundings you have, many kinds of faith, something like that. Are you going to stand still? Now you will discern. Are you in a godly ministry? Are you being trained, you know, to become a soldier of God? Are you like Paul? Are you like Silas? Are you like Timothy? Enduring their faith. Because I don't think that our faith will just vary to, you know, the good things that is happening. Mm -hmm. That your faith as a Christian will just, you will just say, because I am blessed, I will post this one. Mm -hmm. I am blessed. Mm -hmm. When there is persecution, all the negativity is there. <laughs> and you are a Christian, right? Mm -hmm. It's not like that. You have faith. 
In order for you to endure and proclaim the name of your Lord and stand in your faith even in the midst of persecution, hardship, problems in your life. Because I believe Amen. that I am here, I am here made to worship Him alone, in Amen. Christ alone, period. Amen. It's not about, you know, I will worship Him because I have money, I have salary, and they, they, they did not deduct me from my salary. <laughs> they, they really, you know, give me full, and there's allowance. They send me to vacation. I am in Boracay, and I will go. Everything is fine. <laughs> and when there is, you know, sickness, you know, come, you didn't expect emergency, accidents, you will say, no longer in this faith. <laughs> that pastor, oh, starting, you're starting now, no? We're just, be, you're starting. So. <laughs> you know what, what I don't like in preaching? Limited time. <laughs> I'm not just saying. Are you still there? Amen. We still have a lot of things to <laughs> discuss. So, Okay, God has given us everything we need to protect us from deception. How will you know that your faith is genuine when there is no, you know, something is going on, when there is no boiling there? How will you know that you are really, you know, focused, praying, you know, uh, the, 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 your devotion and your meditation? How will you know? There is distraction. Amen. That's how you will know. How will you know you are in truth? Because somebody is telling you false. There's always counterfeit. It's up to you, you know. What you will choose. I'm taking my weapon. Because there's, there are a lot of battles. Try to kneel down, you know. Try to have, you know, prayer and fasting and everything. Come on. Come on. That's why many Christians have been deceived by the lies of the enemies. Right? Bro, I'm just going. Can you send me the link? Um, I'm just going to stay. And, and the house is only second floor. <laughs> right? Uh, sis, do you have an update for the new COVID? Because you are all, only, only, you know, Zoom, Zoom. It's only in the COVID time. Right? Maybe another COVID will come. No more link. You're disappeared. <laughs> Right? Amen. Come on. Be courageous. Joshua said. Be there. Stand for God. Amen? Amen. Because deception will come when you allow it. False teachings will be received when you open arms. It's fine because, you know, the world is, you know, like changing. And I don't like this, you know, hardship. I want only like, you know, um, like, like, like before. Oh, see, it, it, even though it compromises your faith, you will just say, ha, 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 Right? Because it might be they will attack you. You're afraid. Come on. Your co-workers, your managers, even your managers, you know, like talking, you know, cursing. And you will say, okay, boss, no problem. Ha, ha, ha. It's that. Rebuke that. You're a slave. I'm, I'm not saying that. Wah! I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. It's not like that. <laughs> It's not like that, right? Pray for them. Endure in faith, even though you're only one Christian in your family. Because that's my, that's my life. My aunts and, and uncles, like, when I'm starting, you know, joining the Christian, like, you're crazy. What kind of, you know, I'm just going there. Your tongue will just, you know, be tired. I'm just going to church again and again. And now I'm here, sharing the good news. Glory to God. It's not about me. It's about Him. Because I, I'm not going to endure. It is not the Holy Spirit. Amen? If the faith that I have is not genuine. So that's why the people in Thessalonica was amazed by the good news that Paul and Silas and Timothy, you know, is holding on. How? How can you even amaze? Why these people are still standing even in the midst of, you know, persecution? They're not afraid. Why is this Christian are still happy, you know, smiling? They, they have nothing to smile about. You know? A lot of problems, they are smiling only. They are happy. What can, are you crazy? Yes, I'm crazy for the Lord. Amen. I have angels. I have, you know, He's helping me. I have the Holy Spirit. I have God. Amen. 
Rejoice! Again, I will say rejoice. There is a lot of things to rejoice. It's not about your circumstances anymore if you are a Christian. Yes, it's not easy. It's not 24 hours you've been changed. I receive Jesus as my Lord and Savior. I repent. But when I go up, oh, boom, I'm holy now. I cannot be the... Uh, come on. It's not like that. But you are faithful even though, despite of, in spite of. Amen. Are you just Christian by name? Are you getting that? Are you just going into this church because something is good happening to you? Or I will tell you directly, Hello, sister. You're here. Mm, you have a problem, right? <laughs> You're smiling. Right, because that's my joke. I'm seeing you right now because you have a problem. Thank God! You're here. But don't make it a habit. What's that? You're only Christian in, in good ways like that? And when there is something happening, I don't want to go there because, you know, something there is talking to me and you're not even, hello, hi, hi, hello, you know. You know? You're there is not for, for, for the people. True. You're there is for God. Amen. You're, you're not pleasing because, you know, those people went to Phil, uh, Philippi and, 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 and Thess Thessalonica are not pleasing people. Are you crazy going there in persecution, in the battle? Mm -hmm. And in enduring? Are you crazy? If your company will offer you going to Iraq, <laughs> yes, I will do it. I will do it. Uh, there, is, there is missiles. And I will do it, sir, no problem. Are you crazy? <laughs> what is your purpose? Right? Here, the three major resources to guard us. He has sent the Holy Spirit to lead us in all truth. If it's not the Holy Spirit, you will not endure. You will, you will not tell the truth. You will just compromise. Right? He has given us the protection. You are under the perimeter of God's presence within His body. God is moving within the church. If you're outside, do not expect. How can you even a family member when you're going outside when you, when you, when you go into your house? and say, ulam? We have family reunion. We are laughing. You know, we are drinking. We are eating. We are like, you are God's beloved. Why you're out? There is leadership in church, protecting from any devour outside, right? Because it's like there is a great shepherd and the sheep. In the afternoon, he will call. You know that the sheep and he's counting. You know, my sister is not here already. There's been one. You know, illegals. You know, and, and those wicked ways, right? He is drafted. That's why they are so angry at you. But what is important? Seeing them perishing? Or seeing you persecuted, but they will be saved? Amen. Mm. Come on. Hallelujah. Praise God. Number one. A godly ministry... will be opposed by certain people. Do you believe? Yeah. For you yourselves know, brethren, that our coming to you was not in vain. Yes, it happened. But even after we had suffered before and were spitefully treated at Philippi, as you know, we were bold in our God to speak to you the gospel of God in much conflict. You are not there in, Thess in Thessalonica for networking. You are not there for Thessalonica for just a mere business and just, you know, just profit. I will profit because these people will, is foolish and they will go and I will have much money. You are not there. You are there for the kingdom of God. You are there for the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. You are there to preach the gospel, to deliver them from the devil. Hallelujah. You are there. Amen. So that's why they will be, they will oppose you because their spirit is not the spirit of God. I have found that it's impossible to be obedient to God and please everybody at the same time. If you're just pleasing, you know, somebody, you know, I, I don't want to go to church because he doesn't like it. What's that? He's not your God. I don't want to have fellowship with that church because, you know, it's like I feel, I discern, I, you know. Come on, what kind of discerning is that? <laughs> the Lord, of, uh, the Word of God said, you know, have fellowship, uh, make, you know, stronger with the body of Christ, uh, love one another, encourage one another. I'm Chinese now. Okay? <laughs> Amen. And you're opposing to the word of God. Those people that opposing are opposing the word of God. I'm not angry. <laughs> I'm just shouting. 
salamat sa pagsigaw. Do you understand the word of God? Amen. Are you still there? Yes. Number two, a godly ministry is based on pure motives. For our exhortation did not come from error or, or uncleanness. They don't have hidden agenda. Right? It's pure. The gospel. I'm here. I'm a servant of God. I'm Paul. I'm here. Nor was it, it in deceit, but as we have been approved by God to be entrusted with the gospel, even so we speak, not as pleasing men, but God who tests our hearts, for neither at any time did we use flattering words, as you know, nor a cloak for, or, for covetousness, God is witness. Because Paul alone experienced that, you know, um, um, encounter in Damascus. Paul alone persecuted the Christian. That's why he knew how it feels. He knew the experience. And he knew now the truth that the, the, save, the Savior that we have is only Jesus Christ. Amen. Why are you persecuting me, Paul? You're also persecuting the Christian. But now... He is the servant sharing the gospel, the good news. Amen. Before he was an antagonist, right? Of God. So see, from a drug addict, an, an illegal, you know, right, recruiter whatsoever, you know, wicked, you know, people, prostitute, right? G gangler, name it. That's why, you know, when you see some, somebody has many tattoos, I saw that, I am following that. But he's now a healing evangelist in the streets. Mm -hmm. Come on. Amen. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Praise God. They have these pure motives. Their motives is to share the gospel to many people, including your family. Amen. So, but woe unto any congregation of people who find a spiritual leader who is not seeking to please God. I'm not here just to please somebody else for whatsoever. I'm not, you know, a, a candidate in the government. You know, during election, I'm there. Hello! Right? <laughs> Correct? I'm not here for, the, for you know, the, the famous something. You're not anointed by God just to display. You're anointed by God in order for you to be used for the expansion of the kingdom. Amen. To love people, to please God. Pity the congregation who finds a leader whose primary goal is customer relations. That man is destined to compromise something very important along the way. You cannot serve two masters at the same time, right? That's why it's very hard. Really, it's very hard. It's very hard when you are, you know, it, at your busy job, business, and, you, you know, like, like you are just deep in Sunday. Uh, sis, I will go. Say, I'm, I'm faithful. I will go. It's, it's very hard. Make your business, you know, glorifying God. Come on. Mm -hmm. What I'm telling you, I'm, I'm also a business. I'm not rich. Huh? Don't look me at, at rich. Not now. <laughs> <laughs> no. You know, if you have a business, and there is a church during Sunday, and you're earning millions. Let's say, let, let's let's you know make it big millions during Sunday. Close it. Let your members go here and have you know. Amen. Are you getting that? Amen. You have pure motives. Not only to have your pocket full. Not only the church are gaining some money, 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 money. You know that song? Mm -hmm. Oh, you knew it. <laughs> right? The motives here is you know. The heart of Christ. Amen. That somebody died for me. I cannot be saved. I don't deserve it. I am a sinner. Mm -hmm. I am a dirty person. Mm -hmm. Wicked. Suplada. Walang pakialam. Greedy. Come on. Don't, 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 am I going to look at your face? I will not deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> right? But that is your heart. That is our heart. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. That impure motives before in my past life, no more. Amen. I have now. That's why, even though I, if I, I, I will sacrifice, it's fine. Why? Truth never damages a cause that is just. Mm -hmm. Mahatma Gandhi. If you are just, if you are speaking the truth, right. even though it's like, uh, it's, it's like you know, I'm, I'm, I feel like defeated. No, no, you're not defeated. You spoke the truth. 
and the truth will remain generation to generation. Amen. It will set free for many people. Come on. But if you tell lies, it will spread and consume those people, destroy them. But what we have, you know, the God who is just sharing, you know, Jesus Christ. Amen. You have to be transparent so you no longer cast a shadow. Instead, let the light pass through you. You're not even hiding right now. Hiding, hiding, and, and even transferring from one church to another church. Come on. How will you grow? Because, you know, I've been offended from this church. I will transfer to another, another one. What do you think? They are perfect? What do you want? I will pray that God take this person and go to heaven because he wants perfect. You're not glorifying God. How can I tell the difference between someone who seeks to please God and someone who seeks to please men? The person who seeks to please men makes decision based upon expediency. There is hidden agenda. You know, like in front, good. Right? We are good. But something happened. Mm, sis, I'm off of that. Come on. Right? When the church is, in, you know, like giving responsibility. I'm not now, bro. When God is calling you to become a leader, ah, I don't know how to speak now. But when it comes to jokes, green jokes and everything, you are starting there. <laughs> but when it comes to God, I'm shy. Mm -hmm. When I saw you, it's like, who? Oh, you know, like, really? Really? Why not, you know, being, you know, used by God? And speak, even if it, if it takes sure, you know, like, you know, I am not ashamed of the gospel. For the gospel is the power of God, the salvation to those who will believe. Come Amen. on. Amen? Amen. You experience that. You have been saved by the gospel. Amen. Why not me? You know? Even, you know, I'm... I'm I